reaches out to you and just makes you feel good because today I feel good mm, mm. I have been MA from social media because I have been just enjoying my life the kids are back in school hallelujah can I get an amen and I got some time to film a video my husband actually took all the kids and they're out doing something I don't care have fun stay for hours so that I can bring you this wig from all African that I'm going to be doing a review on because it is a nice shoulder length wig see nice and flowy i'm here for it i picked up some wig tint spray and it looks like it's my color so i hope that this works and it doesn't look crazy on camera so let's get in to the hair all right i wanted to i've been seeing girls use the wig tint on um ig and it looks really natural and if i could get away from using up my good makeup and putting it on the lace um that would be preferable i don't know if this wash is out I don't know if this is temporary or not. I should have probably read somebody's instructions, but I didn't. I got this color in bronze and it's from True Match Lace Conceal and I can put a link in um, the description box below. The one thing that I did learn, this is from trial and error, okay. Um, I sprayed it on the lace. This is a 360 lace, by the way. Um, I'll just go ahead and flip her inside out. I sprayed her on the lace. Um, and then I, I blew, blow dried it a bit, um, but for the most part it, it dried really quickly and I didn't have any problems with that and it did tint the lace very well. Look, my light is going out again. So I sprayed it on the lace. As you can see, it, the more you spray it in certain areas, it does get darker. So that's really great because it's customizable, but it's very easy to do too much. That, that, that's the thing um, when it comes to uh, the difference in using makeup as opposed to using a spray because makeup is buildable and you can put more on as you see that you need more of a color but when it's you're spraying on um you just got to be careful be light okay be light see where i messed up at is that it was fine spraying it on the lace of the wig but i was like oh you know what i'm gonna make it really match and i'm gonna spray my wig cap too so i did it i sprayed my wig cap and then i put it on and then i proceeded to do the stocking cap method which as you know you use some kind of adhesive in this case i use got to be glued the spray okay that was the mistake because i put on the wig cap i sprayed the got to be glued hairspray and all the dye started dripping down my face i was like you know what so i i ruined the wig cap and i put another one on and this one I, I use makeup the one that's underneath my beautiful turban which i'm in love with i love my wraps i just went on a wrap spray and i bought a bunch and i haven't done my hair and i don't even know how long besides washing it and braiding it and then tucking away because these save your life they really do somebody comes to the door boom forget a wig Put a terminal. So this is a TLW21, and here is the construction of the cap. Lots and lots of wonderful free space so that you can do an updo and very customizable. It's got two temple comb straps, a really, really stretchy crown, and then the back is uh, this comb, and then it's got your adjustable straps right here so that it can be secure. I'm gonna go ahead and put my mirror right here so I can talk to you guys and see what I'm doing at the same time. So I'm gonna unwrap this. I've already done the stocking cap method on my head. So we are good to go. So here she is, darlings. I'm gonna go ahead and put her on. And see that lace color. Oh, that lace color is perfect. The easiest way for me to do this is I'm going to go ahead and cut the lace while it's on my head. And let's try to get some of these hairs out of my face. pretty good already so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side just use all cut now I can go ahead and start 
um, laying her down. I'm gonna use some got to be glued to lay her down more securely and then I'll go back in with the hairspray. Eyelashes don't blow away. Okay. I like to start in the middle. So I feel like once you got the middle secured, you're pretty good. Okay, so now I'm gonna hit up the spots that are lifting, like right here. So she's on and I can already tell you a couple things I like about this wig. I like the length. She's a good cute length. And the other one is the body. There's a lot of body in this wig already. I have my flat iron so I'm just gonna style it a little bit more. I mean it just looks like it's your hair. So uh, I'm just gonna go for it. So yeah, I'm not gonna do too much to this wig because I just don't think it needs it. It's very simple and it's very elegant in its simplicity. It's a nice like go to work wig. Kamala Harris office woman vibes. Like, I think I will add a little bit more layer to my bang though. Just a small one because as you can see the layers fall naturally already. You don't really have to. But I'm just gonna do a little bit, a little bit more because I'm a little extra. Simple. It does come with baby hairs. I can see them trying to poke out, but I'm not going to do anything with the baby hairs because I feel like um, wigs look a lot more natural without all the swoopity swoops. And it actually looks like something that is growing out of your scalp. I like it. It's giving me very simple, like 90s sitcom mom kind of hair. Like my name should be Harriet. Flows nice. Everything lays back in place. It keeps its shape. It was already layered to begin with so it's very face framing so you don't have to do much i just added a little bit because i'm extra just putting it on i feel like there was enough volume for me in the crown you know how sometimes you get your wigs and they're kind of flat and you gotta kind of create that volume you don't have to do that with this thank you guys so much for sticking around Ooh, that scared the mess out of me lord i have been really embracing simple beauty like you know, like not the four foot long weaves with the baby hairs. No, no disrespect to anybody, but you know, it's just not for me. Like the town, like the pounds of makeup and all that kind of stuff. Just something really simple, really elegant that you could plop on and go out the door. And I feel like because this is silky straight, I feel like the curls will probably not last forever. And even if it falls, then it was still face frame and it still look really nice. And that's just due to the cut and the shortness of the wig. But anyway, that's all, all the information about this wig that I'm wearing. It's gonna be in the description box below. If you guys have any questions for me, I will do my best to answer them. Thank you guys for watching as always. I love y'all. Bye.